Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Pineapple and today I am doing a modern pastel apartment suite build. So if you're interested in this build, you can download it off the gallery. My origin ID is PineappleYT. Um, unfortunately, because this is an apartment, it is super weird looking on the gallery. And it's a two-story apartment, so that makes it even weirder. But whatever. <laughs> I, um, I... It, it works out in the end, I think. I haven't actually tried placing it myself from the gallery. Good luck. This upper section makes it a little bit difficult because it is a um, balcony sort of area. Um, and so that kind of makes it hard to deal with, but hopefully it'll be okay. Um, but yeah, this um, apartment took um, me about three hours to build. Um, it's a two bedroom, two bathroom. I wanted it to be at least a three bedroom, but eh. Um, and it cost me about 86 to 88.5 thousand simoleons to make. I'm not quite sure. I'm never quite sure how the whole apartment, like, money system goes. Like, I, I, maybe I'm just, like, slow on the uptake, but, like, I honestly, I have no idea, um, how the pricing exactly of the apartments go. Like, I know there's a, there's a, a, a weekly rent. And I know that you have to buy the furnishings of the apartment. And then I, I think there's a down payment, I think. I don't know. But um, the lot uh, itself, like when you go up to the little tabby in the right hand corner said it was 86,000 simoleons. But when I combined the price of the two rooms, it said it was 88.5. So <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, I was actually um, requested to do this build um, by a subscriber. Actually, kind of two. Um, <laughs> there's a, sus a subscriber who asked me to do um, a modern yellow um, build, sort of like pastel yellow, um, be after they watched my um, Daffodil Dreams build, um, which was a sort of yellow starter home. Um, and then somebody else jumped in and agreed that they would really like to see that, so that's what I did. I had actually been meaning to do a modern pastel apartment for a while. I didn't just do yellow though because I didn't think there were enough objects, modern objects, to really pull that off. And um, I even like a couple months before I was requested to do this, I, I attempted to do it twice, but I kept not getting the layout right. Um, I have difficulty with that in apartments sometimes, especially the bigger ones, like the bigger ones, one store, like uh, one level ones. Um, so <laughs> I didn't, I, I didn't ever, like I built them both halfway and I never used either of them. And so just scrap the idea. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry if you can hear the siren in the background. Um, just scrap the idea and then I went with this and I do really like how it turned out. Um, there are a couple things about it that aren't my favorite, but in the end, I like the overall effect. Um, but this kitchen here is why it wasn't a three bedroom. Um, it was really the only place where I felt I could fit the kitchen and have it look relatively normal. Just because I, I really dislike putting counters um, up against windows, um, or at least a whole line of counters up against windows. So. I kind of just, there is a little bit here, but it's it's not as much as it would have been other places. And then I also felt like I wouldn't have enough room for the living room. And the living room in this one was also a little hard for me because I don't like putting the TV on a window. Um, so I end up doing this sort of divider thing and I'm honestly not quite sure if it works, but I do like how it looks, I think. <laughs> I'm not sure, you guys will have to tell me what you think. Um, but here I am starting to sort of plan out the living room, um, how it's going to go. The lighting in this apartment is amazing. It's so gorgeous. Like, oh, so, so pretty. I loved it. But here I am doing the planet or the like the divider thing. And, um, yeah, <laughs> I kind of like how it turned out. It's interesting. The sort of, um, slats of wood, um, like the little wood pillars, um, they have a shadow effect at the bottom of them to make them look more realistic. But when they're stacked on each other, it's just like this weird like shadow effect in the middle of the air. And so if you look really closely, it looks really odd. But 
you know. <laughs> um, but I also really like this that I did here. I didn't make it its own room. Um, that ends up being an office. I just used the tallest wall um, to separate it from everything else, and I, I really thought that looked good. Um, but here I am planning out the colors that I am going to go with, and I do end up just sticking to these colors. Um, I think, yeah, I don't think I did anything else. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, <laughs> the I couldn't quite plan out the, the four color right there, um, just because it was a, a little bit more difficult. So I did tinker with that more as I went along. And But I like I really do like the color scheme of this. I think it's really cute. Um, the only issue I have with it is sometimes it's just way too bright because of the way the lighting works in the game. Like in some of the rooms with a lot of windows and a light, it's just like, ugh. Um, <laughs> but I also really like the balcony in this. I thought it was a lot of fun, even though it makes the build super obnoxious to place. Um, just because it was fun to add that sort of outdoor plant element indoors. Um, and I thought that was really cute. Um, yeah, <laughs> that actually reminds me, I keep saying, um, I actually got a comment the other day that was like, could you stop saying, um, and I'm like, no, <laughs> um, no, I cannot. It is completely involuntary. Like, mind you, I wish I could stop saying, um, I think everybody who, um, says, um, could wish that they could, um, stop saying, um, because it's really like involuntary. Uh, but anyways, so, <laughs> but now I'm like hyper focused on it, man. <laughs> but yeah, so the kitchen, I, I think uh, there are some parts of this build that I feel like if I had spent an extra hour building this, it would have looked a bit better. Um, but I kind of just didn't. Like I don't know. I I kind of wasn't feeling like putting a huge amount of clutter into it even though that's my style and so for some of the rooms I kind of look at it and I'm like mm, that could have used more clutter um but I don't know I <laughs> I it, uh, <laughs> I'm really uncertain like uh, this is one of the builds that I kind of have a love-hate relationship um with but because it was requested and because I liked it enough I decided to just kind of release it into the world especially because there are a lot of things that I do love about this build um but yeah so I built this build when I was listening to an audiobook called oh gosh what is it called well I told you guys last week that I was listening to an audiobook that I really liked and I told you I'd tell you what it was after I was done with it um, and now I realize that it's in a series, so I'm still going to tell you guys what I, I watched, but please don't spoil the rest of the series for me. It's probably a mistake to even say it, but I was watching, or I was listening to Shadow and Bone on audiobook, and I really loved it. I didn't realize it was a series, though, so the ending was a little disappointing for me. Um, but I am now listening to the sequel, Siege and Storm, so yeah, don't spoil it for me. I'll be very upset with you. You won't be a subscriber of mine. <laughs> oh no, but I am so close to um, a thousand subscribers, you guys. Like this might, I might already have a thousand subscribers by the time that this goes up. And I am honestly so ecstatic about it. I have something really big, well not really big, I have something planned for a thousand subscribers. And so I'm, I'm really, really excited. <laughs> um, but yeah, this, it's like, I, you know, usually my favorite parts of the build are the bedrooms, but this was not the case. I kind of struggled in this um, build with some of the bedrooms. This one, I, is, would be my favorite of the two, but I think part of the issue is the lack of modern beds, um, especially in pastel colors. I mean, the lack of beds in this game is just ridiculous, ridiculous, it's the worst. Um, <laughs> try not to complain too hard, but it's literally the worst. Um, same thing kind of with the lack of modern doors, um, but I guess that's a little bit more understandable, but because of that, I used this like clear door here, which also I love that comes in a pastel. That is great. Loved it. Um, but I didn't want the bathroom, I wanted this to be a full bathroom, but I didn't want it to be so open. So I ended up sticking those two walls in there for privacy and, um, 
hiding the toilet and the shower behind it and I really love the effect. This is honestly um, one of my more favorite bathrooms that I've built in a while and I end up um, putting this little poster up that's like supposed to be like a movie poster and you can like see the face of the mannequin in the mirror in the screenshots and it just I just thought it looked like a lot of fun um yeah the the second bathroom I also like how it, it ends up looking but spoiler alert I forgot to put it in a toilet <laughs> I totally forgot like it wasn't I, I took all of my screenshots and it wasn't until I um, was like going over like watching the build and like speeding it up and cutting out parts that you don't need to see that I realized that doesn't have a toilet. It doesn't have a toilet. It, it has two sinks, a shower, and a bathtub, but it doesn't have a toilet. So I did go back uh, in game and fix that up a bit um, just because I... <laughs> I oh my gosh I felt so silly I completely forgot the toilet that's like only one of the more important parts of the bathroom is the toilet um but yeah I um here's the office space I was talking about love 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 it there are two offices in this and I think that you could make um, the upper office a bedroom I decided not to just because it had big windows in it and I thought that was a little odd but I um, like how it did turn out especially this, this this little nook I just love it so much I love um, the dividing of the partition I did here and then from the second floor um, you can see like the plants overhead and I just I'm just like great a yes good job um, oh and I finally got to use that um, giant piece of artwork from city living I've never used it before in a build um, just because it's so bulky, it sticks out from the wall so far, but it's so pretty and it's pastel. It's a modern pastel piece of artwork and I was just like, yes! <laughs> so excited. Oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, this is this is still the first bedroom. Yes, it is. Um, I, I also, like I said, like you can see here, I'm kind of struggling with what clutter to put here and whatnot. And so it's kind of just like, eh... Yeah. Um, and then here's the second bedroom and like you can see I'm struggling with this bed. I would have loved to use this bed. Um, I really like the um, sort of bedding of it but I didn't like the frame. It didn't look modern enough for me and I was just kind of like oh that looks cute but no and you can see I cut away from there. Um, you can also see those shadows I was talking about underneath the like wood things. It's really weird. Um, but here's where the divider kind of went crazy. Um, I wasn't, I didn't like how it looked only going part way up. So I made the thing go all the way up. And so it's a little odd. I think it does kind of help to break up the upper area and make it look maybe a bit more interesting visually, but it also does kind of like hide the view um, of the rest of the place. So it's kind of just like a, give or take, but here is the bathroom where I forgot a toilet. Um, I, oh my goodness, and I, I love this bathroom so much. I was like, oh, the layout of this is so cute. Yeah, it's cute if you don't want to poop. <laughs> oh my goodness. But I used the sinks next to each other, and I, you know, honestly, this sounds a little silly, but I've never, I don't know if I've ever really done that, used the two sinks next to each other and then placed objects in between them. Um, it's kind of one of the most obvious things, and I've seen people do it before, but I just hadn't. Um, but I do really love the effect of it. I thought it looked really cute. Um, <laughs> but yeah. So, speaking of books, I actually, um, just started for, like, kicks and giggles, started writing, which is completely weird and out of the blue for me. I've, like, never well like once or twice in my life I have written like a page a, pa a page I can't talk a page of whatever for like fun like if I think of an idea and I'm kind of like oh this could be a fun thing to write about and then I like get in for like a page and I'm like eh I'm done you know um but like this time I'm just like I'm actually writing like pages and it's 
really bizarre to me. Um, but that little nook right there where I'm putting the towels, um, that's where I end up putting the toilet, which is a bit sad because I love the towels there and that nook, they look so nice. Um, but anyways, back to the um, writing. And so it's really dumb. <laughs> I am doing a fan fiction of my own series, the Vampire Big Sister Challenge. Like all of the characters are like kind of in there and I'm just... It's kind of just nice because I often feel so restricted by The Sims when it comes to storytelling. Like, you can never get to sit The Sims to do what you want, and you have to do a lot of talking for The Sims. Like, there isn't, unless you want to really go in and do machinimas, there isn't a lot of, like, action you can show, per se. Like, it, there's, like, little snippets of interactions that you can initiate, but um, it's just, it's been like weirdly fun and I've just been doing it like I when I have downtime at work um I'm on the computer so I just type away stuff and like I don't even save most of it I'm just kind of doing it for kicks and giggles and it's been weirdly fun um <laughs> and I feel almost weird like talking about it just because I don't know it's just weird for me um but like I've, I've hated writing like I've, I've honestly like been like writing has been the bane of my existence in school I always hated it whenever I'd have to write something I always like I can't write a personal statement like I hate it it makes me anxious just thinking about it um so it's weird for me to have to find enjoyment in writing for like once um but here I am doing the um gardening like gardening uh landscaping <laughs> and it's a little weird the plants are oddly dark uh especially the ones in the sort of nook area it, they're weirdly dark and i don't know why like I, I guess it's just a lighting generator like i guess the game doesn't like what it perceives as outdoor plants being indoors um so that, that looks kind of weird. I tried to pick some of the lighter plants to make them look less odd. But the whole idea for the plants um, came from, I when I was doing the living room, I kind of thought of adding a big plant next to one of the chairs. And I liked those bushes that we got in, was it Backyard Stuff Pack? I think it was. Um, where it's like a of like a gradient of flowers from the bottom to the top and so I think I ended up using one of those but it's just so big so I didn't fit downstairs so I made it fit upstairs um I also love the pastel pink sort of fur rug that's underneath the table super duper cute super duper cute I am so in love with it I also really like this little room um I wish I could have taken better screenshots of it like there are oh gosh I'm like about to burp and it's like building up in my chest and I can't breathe oh uh, okay Whew, I think we're good sorry <laughs> that was attractive sorry about that um but there are definitely like there's always something in a build that just you can't capture on screenshots how pretty you think it looks like it just it, it almost it's like it looks better from above which I guess is good because you know people play although there is I do build with all the walls up which means that it can be kind of hard for me to know what'll look good in the gameplay that most people play in which is um, half walls um, or cutaway walls and that's what I play in too is cutaway walls but it's something about building where I want all the walls up to see what I'm doing and so it's kind of like a you know, pro con sort of thing. Like the pro of having them all up is you can see what you're doing. You're kind of reminded to do something for like every wall or not, you know, and with the walls down, it, it's more similar to what people will actually be like doing in game. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I also use those bubble lights. I've never, like, I've, I think I've used them once in a, like a children's room, but I had never used them seriously, but I like actually use them not in an ir uh, uh, ironic way. Like I'm like choking on the word ironic, but I, I was so surprised with myself. Um, just as surprised as I am that I actually am writing for fun. Um, <laughs> not really, um, but this yeah this upper I feel like there is a lot of wasted space in this apartment just for aesthetic space like like aesthetics sake um you know just like the whole like 
hallway, you know, balcony area. Like you can't really do anything with that. But there's that bush I was talking about, you know, the sort of gradient one. And here you can really see how dark some of the plants are looking. And then this one looks like the, the tree thing looks like normal. So I don't know. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this build. If you did, feel free to give me a like, a comment, and subscribe, especially if you're interested as being notified as to when my next video is. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any more um, as requests, I will. I definitely consider every request I get. I obviously can't do all of them, and I honestly don't want to do all of them, but I do like hearing them, and I do like being able to do some of them. Um, so yeah, I feel free. <laughs> but yeah, I hope that you guys are all having a good day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!